Chris Greer, Mike McDaniel, I do not envy you. What is up, Finn fans? Tomorrow, the NFL and all of their teams, obviously, have to cut down from 80 to 53. They have to cut 27 players to get to their final 53-man roster. All week, I've been working on this. And then they signed Drake Flowers. <laughs> and it was difficult. <laughs> as soon as they signed Trey Flowers, I was like, mother and I was angry because like crap, I have to now take somebody out and put Trey Flowers in. When I got to my like, I had five spots left, and I was like, "How in the flip am I going to do this?" Um, but I did it, and there are some, and we'll break it down, and I'll talk about things and go into who I'm iffy about, and I wouldn't be surprised if so and so makes it, so and so doesn't make it, and all that stuff. But before we jump into that. I have to have to shout out today's sponsor. You already know, it's Manscaped.com. I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Manscaped.com. Now, you guys know I've been working with Manscaped for a hot minute, and they came out with this Platinum Package 4.0. This is probably one of their best packages, no pun intended, that they've come out with in a very long time. You're getting seven seven different things in this platinum package 4.0 you're getting body wash now this body wash has no aluminum none of that bad stuff that makes your skin feel like crap it has aloe sea salt sea salt moisturizer all that good stuff in there you're getting the two-in-one shampoo and conditioner make sure your hair smells nice especially after you get out of the gym of course of course, you're not Manscaped. You're not not gonna get the lawnmower 4.0 skin safe technology, waterproof, cordless. You got that light. Again, I don't recommend shaving your bits or your back or your chest or your face at night or in the dark. But you could with this light. You get the underarm deodorant. Again, there's no aluminum in that stuff. That stuff clogs your pores, makes you feel like crap. Good deodorant. You get the crop preserver and toner. Two different things. That's for your downstairs bonanza. Keep it fresh. Keep it clean. And also the weed whacker nose ear hair trimmer. Again, we're getting up there. I'm going to be 35 next month. My nose, my ears, it's, it's getting hairy. So you need to trim it up. Trim it up. So not only are you getting all seven of those things, but if you use the promo code DDW20, you get free shipping. And you get two more things. You get a nice carrying bag. Nice leather. I'm telling you, it's nice. It's a leather carrying bag. And you get the underwear. The boxer briefs. So again, Platinum Package 4.0. Great, great stuff. Use the promo code DDW20. You get yourself 20% off. And Manscaped, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Okay. I'm going to minimize myself. And we're going to start with offense. And I know for a fact, as soon as I minimize myself, everyone's going to look at their screen. What did he do at quarterback? What did he do at quarterback? So, this I'm going to I'm going to talk about it before I minimize myself because I know you guys are going to jump right to quarterback and see what I did. Mind you also, this is the depth chart before I put Eric Flowers in. So I'm showing you before I put Eric Flowers in and then when I put Eric Flowers in. There's not that big of a difference. Only real difference is I made it look fancy. So you, the offense, you're going to see, oh, look, it's all fancy. Then the defense isn't going to look fancy, and then I'm going to show you where I put Eric Flowers. But the quarterback position, that is the thing that everyone's wondering about. Doug, are you going to have Skylar Thompson on there? Are you going to have the Dolphins rocking with three quarterbacks? That is the biggest question going into tomorrow. Are the Dolphins going to gamble? It is an absolute huge gamble for the Miami Dolphins to cut Skylar Thompson and hope and pray you can bring him back to the practice squad because there are teams out there like the Giants. There's teams out there like the uh, Seahawks. There's, there's teams out there that will, in a heartbeat, try to scoop up Skylar Thompson. So this is what I would do, and this is what I would suggest the Dolphins would do. Some of this, some of my 53-man roster, I know you're like, Doug, shut up and show us. No. <laughs> some of this is, and I will get into 
what I predict will happen, and this is what I would do. So without further ado, I'm going to minimize myself and show you the 53-man roster. So, so far, this is the 53-man roster offense prediction. So, yes, you can see as you, your eyes probably beep right to the quarterback. I kept three quarterbacks. Me, personally, I don't think he makes the practice squad. I think you cut him, someone's going to claim him like that. I do not see... Skylar Thompson being cut and then added to the practice squad. Would I be surprised if they traded Teddy Bridgewater or they cut? Te I'd be surprised if they cut Teddy Bridgewater. Wouldn't be surprised if they traded him. But there's no, I just cannot see them cutting Skylar Thompson. After what he did this preseason, I don't care what the opponents were that he faced. I just can't see them cutting him so I have the Dolphins rocking with three quarterbacks which means I lost an area so we're going to break it down I'm going to use my little pointer and show you we're going to put wide receivers we got Waddle uh, Izukoma Sherfield Hill Wilson and Bowden you know like Bowden you think Bowden I do think Bowden's going to make the roster Sherfield and no Sanu you haven't heard an iota of Sanu whether in training camp whether in preseason you have barely heard Sanu's name I don't think he makes the roster but for me it's between Sherfield and Craycraft that's where I was torn up and I will tell you why Bowden makes it in a in a minute but I think a lock is Waddle uh Easy E Hill and Wilson Jr. I think that is your starting four wide receivers and it was behind I have Sherfield and Bowden Jr. He's a junior. Uh, now, offensive line, right? Coleman, he is not making the roster. Behind Armstead, I have Greg Little. I think Greg Little did very well um, Saturday. Again, it was against backups of backups, whatever. He did better than Coleman did against backups of backups against the Raiders. Uh, I, have Eichen, this is your starting offensive line. Hunt, uh, Jackson Hunt, Williams, Eichenberg, Armstead. That's your starting offensive line. I have Keelan Deesh. Yes, undrafted rookie Kalen Deesh being the backup to Austin Jackson. I really do like Kalen Deesh, and I think he probably would have got drafted if not for this, the length of his arms being undersized. I have Dieter being the backup of, at center, and I have uh, Robert Jones being the swing. He can either play left or right guard. I do not have Solomon Kinley making the roster because I don't think he fits the scheme. I think he's too big to fit the zone run scheme. Tight ends, you're like, wait a tick, Doug. Gazicki Smythe Long, Connor. I think he's been fantastic in the preseason. I think he's been fantastic in training camp. And I think he takes over um, the, the last tight end spot. So Shaheen's already on the IR. And I think, you know, all the other guys, they're going to get cut. And I think these are your four uh Running uh, tight ends, obviously. Ingold, running backs. Edmonds, Mosert, Michelle. I've already said this from jump. These are your starting three running backs. There and again, having Thompson, we I don't I can't have a fifth running back. That's where it's like I'm then maybe even taking Bowden out, but then again, you want depth at wide receiver. For me, the biggest question mark, and I think I don't think that uh Jared Dokes makes the team. I just don't think he fits. I think Saquandre White goes to the practice squad. For me, it's Gaskin and Ahmed. It could go either way here. I put Ahmed in there because he's familiar with Mike McDaniel. He's familiar with the 49ers um, scheme and everything. But I could very easily see Gaskin making it here. So that is the offense. Some of this I predict will happen. Like I honestly think this is going to be your tight ends. Um, I can guarantee you this is going to be your fullbacks. <laughs> I don't know about this. I don't know about the quarterback position. I pray that they're not dumb enough to see if they can test by putting Skylar Thompson on the open market. I just I hope they're not that dumb. Um, because he's just been playing lights out. I don't care that he's, you know, what, like a fifth year. He's like 25. There are some negatives to him, and that's the reason he was available in the seventh round, but I think he's played well enough in training camp and preseason to earn a roster spot. Now let's look at the defense pre-Trey Flowers. This is the defense 
pretty Trey Flowers. So your starters on the defensive line, you got Wilkins, Davis, Ogba. I, obviously, Sealer and Jenkins are going to make it. I have Gustin making the roster. I think he's been doing very well. Uh, he was a late free agent signing. You got your linebackers and Phillips, Roberts, Baker, and Ingram as your starters. AVG, uh, Riley, Tyndall, and Good. Yes, seventh round pick. Good. He's also been very good. Not funny. Uh, as your backups here, your corners. I have Howard and Jones as your starters. Byron Jones, hopefully. Yeah. Nick Needham, cross him. And I have Cater Kohu making the roster. Um, there's a lot. Campbell is a good name that could potentially make the roster. There are a lot of potentials. And again, putting Skylar Thompson on with having the third quarterback, I don't have a sixth corner. That's the spot you got to give up. Safeties are Brandon Jones, Javon Holland, Eric Rose, the backup, and I have Clayton Fedulam on here. I know uh, McKinley, some people would like him to make I think he makes a practice squad, but Fedulam is just... He's too good on special teams to not have him make the roster. Let's look at now with Eric Flowers on the team. Only real difference with Eric Flowers on the team is here. Now, I am assuming he's going to play defensive end. There is a possibility he does go with the outside linebacker. So I have him taking this spot here. Um, if he is in their, on their depth chart at outside linebacker, I think he takes good spot. And Gustin goes back here. That's my prediction. That's the only real difference is Gustin came out and I put Eric Flowers behind Emmanuel Ogba. Um, but again, if he's playing the outside linebacker role, which he did last year with the uh, Lions, even though most of his career he played defensive end, then I would take out good and I would put Eric Flowers here. So that's the defense. That's This is my defense. Again, this scares me. I would like to have one more corner. Um... And, and, like, there's not much depth. I like the depth here more. If you notice that when the season, st like, the offseason started, I was very scared about the depth at the D-line. But br you bringing in Flowers really eases my feelings about the depth on the D-line. Also, it was a one-year $2.1 million contract. It's nothing for Eric Flowers. So I'm very happy with that move. I would have liked to have a six-corner. Um, they might go with a six-corner. Again, this is... They might throw everything for a loop. And then um, this is your special teams. Sanders, your kicker, Morstead, your punter, and your holder, Ferguson, your long snapper. And this is why Bo I have Bowden making the roster. I think he's your kick and punt returner. I think he's done very well there. And I think he can be very productive as a kick and punt returner. But also he could be very productive at wide receiver if you saw that touchdown from Skylar Thompson to him. It was a five-yard pass. He took it the other 31, 34 yards rest of the way for a touchdown. So this is my 53-man roster. And like I said, this was incredibly difficult to put together. Um, I know you guys are going to tear it apart by all means. Obviously, I do this and I put this out there for the critiques and for your opinions. Um, so I'm very interested on what you would do differently. Again, if you're like, nah, I don't see Sherfield in there. I see Craycraft in there wholeheartedly I could see that happening um this spot here being empty does worry me <coughs> but again having three quarterbacks i you know you lose a spot so this spot worries me and not having a sixth corner worries me you know there's there's not having a sixth a uh, fifth running back kind of worries me because again with three quarterbacks that is going to be the deciding factor if they trade teddy if they cut teddy but again i just you you could tell me i'm wrong again i read all your comments i just can't see them getting rid of skylar thompson and then hoping and because once he gets to the practice squad he's safe he's there he's not going anywhere you protect four players every week on the practice squad he will forever be this whole season Unless something happens and he gets elevated to the re the regular roster, he will forever be protected. Now I've heard play. I've heard some analysts and some um, beat writers say that to try to bring him on your roster with two weeks before the season starts and have him be your backup is a little iffy and not likely. I'm still not taking that chance. I am still not taking that chance. Uh, but comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, very interested to read it. Again, this is the offense. 
This is the defense. And this is your special teams. Comment below. Let me know. One last thing before I get out of here. The Pick'em League. I'm going to link it below in the description. It's going to be the top one. And then below that is the link for Manscaped. So if you want to grab yourself some Manscaped, like I said, it's the second link. But the top one's going to be the Pick'em League. I'm doing it again this year if you want to join. Click on the link. Join. It's free. Winner's going to get a nice prize like they did last year. But on that, I will see you guys tomorrow with the cut down video. We're, I'm going to look at what the 53-man roster looks like, and I'm going to compare it to this one. It's going to be very interesting. But on that, like usual, guys, stay classy. And fins up.